Lab-grown meat has arrived in this country. Would you ever eat lab-grown meat? Lab-grown meat? What's that? <laughs> I thought this was meat. Or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> but no, I'm wrong to assume that. Meat is now being grown in labs. To make it, they use a syringe to pull tissue out of an animal. The tissue is cut into minuscule pieces to separate the muscle fibers and cells. The cells start dividing. When all these little pieces of muscle are layered together, we get exactly the same thing we started with, beef. But is it safe? Well, U.S. regulators have approved it. Two cultivated meat producers now getting the green light to begin commercially selling their chicken. Take your fake lab-grown meat elsewhere. We're not doing that in the state of Florida. Florida and Alabama quickly outlawed lab-grown meat. And we appreciate that ban. Bill Ballard lobbies for cattlemen. It's a recognition of the importance of preserving the family farm structure of agriculture in the United States. And if it weren't for Alabama and Florida doing it, then uh, the meat packers would have the ability to pass it off to unsuspecting consumers as if it were indeed a meat product, which it is not. They don't conceal it. They say this is cultivated meat. It is, but they haven't told the public exactly what's in it. They pull it out of the animal and grow it in the lab. It's still the same source, but not produced in the same manner. How do you grow meat in the lab? Some activists oppose it too making videos like this. You use something called immortalized cells, meaning they grow like a tumor. Want to taste it? <laughs> I think I'll pass. Now lobbyists are persuading politicians in other states to ban lab-grown meat. Lab-grown meat has no place in Nebraska. That's according to Governor Pellin. But wait, why do politicians get to decide for everyone? I got a producer of lab-grown chicken to let me try some. Their employees sauteed it, and I tried it. This is what Florida banned, and we view it as, Good. this is 99% chicken. Melissa Musiker works for Upside Foods, one of two companies producing lab-grown chicken. Upside sued Florida over its ban. One of these is chicken, and another is lab-grown chicken. I offered people a taste of what Florida's agriculture commissioner calls franken meat versus chicken we bought at Whole Foods. They're both really good. I think that one's lab-grown. Bingo. People correctly guessed which was which. That's the real one and that's the lab grown. This one was juicier. I assume this is the lab grown one. It was. People like the lab grown chicken. That's much juicier. This is moist and tasty. Although everyone in our test could tell the difference, in this taste test of a different lab grown chicken, this food critic couldn't. I was so sure that this is the real chicken. All this raises the question, why not let us consumers decide? Why are you bribing politicians to ban it? The government has a, a legitimate role in ensuring that we have an abundant and affordable and safe food supply. You can't say that about this lab-grown meat. Lab-grown beef would make the food supply more secure because you'd have another choice. You should not be able to make that decision when you know that the decision will have the effect of threatening the viability of our food production. You could have said this about horse-drawn carriages years ago. Ban cars. There are sacrifices to be made with progress, but one sacrifice we cannot make is the ability to maintain a viable food production system. I don't buy his logic. Allowing an extra option would make our food supply more resistant to disruption. We can make millions, the equivalent of millions of chickens, and we only produce the edible product of the chickens. There's no beaks, there's no feet, there's no feathers. And no animals are killed. Chicken meat production is sadly a story of suffering. That's one reason a lot of people eschew eating animal protein, and they say, I don't want to eat that anymore because it makes me feel uncomfortable. This can be a really attractive product for people like them because this is a way for them to say, like literally vote with their plate. Would you buy laboratory-grown food? Yeah, I liked it. We should have the freedom to vote with our dollars, decide for ourselves if lab-grown meat or lab-grown anything is something we want. Maybe we won't like it, then we won't buy it. But it's wrong when politicians forbid us to try something. I think Americans deserve more choices. It's the reason I started Stossel TV, to give you alternatives. And if you like this alternative, please click that button and help us make more. 